Hello viewers, here is an Edison box fan. This is a comfort conditioner by McGraw Edison. And if I recall correctly, of course, the chances of that are relatively slim. I believe this was a fan that I picked up at a tag sale just a street over from here. I got it because at the time it was so dirty, the blades were black. And my grandfather used to have a, a black box fan that was used in between the, the kitchen and the dining room. And I don't know what in the world ever happened to that fan. Of course, this is going back 15, 20 years, and I just don't remember. But the um, it always shook very badly. I remember that. And it always I always thought it was odd because the blade was black, and I've never seen a at that time anyways I had never seen another box fan with the black blades and I, I still really can't think of all that many that have black blades but anyways that's why I got this because it kinda reminded me of that fan oh, I wish I knew what happened to that fan I, my grandfather isn't the kind of just throw things out so I, something tells me it's floating around the radar or something somewhere but I don't know I haven't seen it in years anyways so I got this and then I cleaned it up and then of course the blades are no longer black they are more of like a uh, kind of a silvery color although I do have to wonder if at some point they were actually black because the hub is substantially more black than the blades are so maybe it just has faded from the sun the blades do have uh, some signs of deterioration you can see there's a chip missing out of it up at the top there and they're starting to get that weird um, textury looking kind of a thing to them when the sun starts to break down plastic you can see it better on this one if the dog garden thing is going to focus there we go so I don't know um, I think this thing was uh, kind of had a rough life it um, it does have some mechanical issues the shaft is very loose inside the blade and, and sometimes if you put it up to full speed it just spins inside the blade so I, I have to get that fixed and um, it's actually not too bad cosmetically it, it you know it needs a good cleaning it's kind of dirty there's some paint splatter on it and the guard is pretty dirty there's some dust or whatever from it sitting downstairs the bottom is rusting a little bit but it looks like it's all surface rust at this point. I really should open this up and, and take a wire brush to everything in there and then repaint it because uh, I could probably stop the rust if I did that. Um, that's, I should take this out of the window prior to recording. Let's take a look at the back here. The handle is still intact which is kind of a miracle. I try not to use it very often and the switch is still there so here's the back let's see if we can get a look at that label here uh, McGraw Edison Company thermally protected 2.6 amps type oh man it's blurry let's see if I can read that out the camera uh, type 203 PEG the motor's kind of rusted out. Let's see them with some of the rust down there at the bottom. And now, see, so look at it from this angle. The blades look black. And the back guard could fare to be uh, wire brushed and repainted as well. I don't know if this would have had feet or not. It seems like it has provisions for the feet to go in there. I've always kind of liked this fan, even though it, it, I don't think anyways, <laughs> I actually don't really know, but I don't think this was the one that my grandfather had. I still kind of like it. It's, just, it's a neat looking fan. I like the, the shape of the blades and um, the wood grain is kind of cool. Even the label is, is a wood grain uh, finish to it. And the guard, the slats are, are very wide um, compared to what's normal. Or normal, um, whatever is you know, like oh my god, I uh, 
223 or whatever, the slats are probably, you know, only half or three quarters of the size of these. Anyways, um, I think that's about all there is to say about it. So let's go ahead and start it up. I'll start up on low and see if we can get the startup sound. Yeah, that's what I don't even remember. Something's rattling. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Well, that's, that's good. The other thing I've always liked about this fan, I don't know if it's going to pick up on the video. I think it's kind of picking up on the video. The blades aren't all the same colors. And so you can kind of see, uh, like, how many RPMs it's doing because there's a there's a difference as it spins around. And these dead going leaves. For a plastic blade fan it's pretty strong. The other thing that's neat about this blade is you can kind of see the motor through the hub because it's relatively translucent. Now let's go to medium. motor has a very distinct sound on a medium. And this does kind of shake a fair bit. I don't know if it's picking up on the video or not. The lighting isn't the greatest in this production. And you can see the blade hub itself is kind of wobbly. That may have something to do with the way it's on the shaft because it's not as tight as it should be. Well, let's go high. And it looks like it's going to cooperate for the video. Sometimes it won't make it up to high without the blade spinning on the shaft. It really does push out a good amount of air for a plastic fan. It's not quite a metal one, but it's... Uh, I think it, it's at least as comparable to a, you know, like a 223, probably even better than one, because it's got the Venturi ring. And something's vibrating. It may just be the handle. I don't know. I don't normally use it on fire. You can see it's shaking pretty good now. Yeah, the hub is really not um, as symmetrical isn't the word. It's just not balanced. I guess I don't know. There's something weird about it. I 
probably could fairly oil I haven't oiled it yet this year um, anyways so that's it that's the Edison Edison uh, what was it comfort umbler please oh for crying out loud there we go comfort conditioner box fan and at some point I will uh, get around to cleaning this up a little bit more and get it back into a nicer condition than it is now actually there's one other thing I want to mention about this fan which I have always thought was kind of odd the uh, the plates are really nowhere near the the Venturi so I, I kind of wonder how effective it really is 